Hey Canucks fans and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Thursday, November the 9th. In about an hour's time, the Canucks will take on the Anaheim Ducks in game number two of their four game road trip. A road trip that started off well on Tuesday night when they beat the Calgary Flames 5-3. And then facing the Ducks tonight, the Sharks on Saturday and the Red Hot Kings on Tuesday night in LA, the Canucks are making their annual trip through Southern California to play against the big three, so to speak. But I'll get to that in a second. For tonight, the Canucks are facing a team, Anaheim, that has 15 points in 15 games. Right behind the Canucks, we have 18 points in 15 games. So only three points separating the two teams in the Pacific Division. They won't be facing Ryan Getzlaff. He's uh, recovering from cheekbone surgery for the next two months. They won't be facing Ryan Kessler. Too bad, so sad. They won't be facing Patrick Eves nor Cam Fowler. So that's four regulars for the Ducks lineup that won't be playing tonight against the Canucks. One player the Canucks will face will be former teammate Ryan Miller. Ryan, I don't know why I hesitated there. Ryan Miller is playing in goal, making his third start of the season for Anaheim. And although I like Ryan Miller very much, in fact, in fact, I have one of his jerseys, I hope the Canucks score on him a lot. I hope they light him up because the more that the Canucks score, the better chance they have of winning. Well, newsflash, yeah, the more goals you score, the better chance you have to win. So I hope the Canucks do well and continue their, their strong offensive play as of late. As for the Canucks, one lineup change for sure. Chris Tanev is out. He got injured against Calgary on Tuesday night, and he likely won't play for the rest of this road trip. But in a wonderful twist of good timing, the day that Tanev goes out, his regular defense partner, or one of them at least, Alex Edler, draws into the lineup. Edler returns after missing four to five weeks with his knee injury that he suffered in the first week of the season, and he will slide in and take Tanev's top two minutes. So Tanev out, Edler in. Marcus Granlin is a game-time decision after missing Tuesday's game. If he draws in, look for him to slide right in with his regular, into his regular spot with Derek Dorsett and Brandon Sutter. If he doesn't play, um, look for Brendan Gauntz to retain that spot. And if he, does, sorry, if he does come in, look for Gauntz then to come out, actually. And as a long shot, Vertanen might even come out. But it sounds like it will likely be Gauntz if, if Granlin plays. And again, if Granlin doesn't play, Gauntz will just maintain a spot on that checking line. Jacob Markstrom starts in goal once again. Thatcher Demko back him up. And Anders Nilsson will return to the team later in this road trip. Him and his fiance had their baby. Well, actually, technically, the fiance had the baby. And so we're happy for him and for Nilsson and his fiance and their, their brand new baby. So hopefully um, things will go well for them. And he joins the team when he's ready to do so. All right, let's talk about this Southern California trip. As I said, the Canucks seem to make this trip every year. It's a good chance for Canucks fans to get uh, to maybe get, make their way down to down the West Coast to see their team play in either San Jose, Anaheim, or L.A. And I, for the heck of it, I looked up their last five seasons to see how well they did because we, I think we always have this impression that the Canucks do poorly on this trip because they're playing against such st strong, big teams. But actually, that's not the case. I was surprised to learn. Last year, they made the trip in March, and they went 2-1. and one. The year before that, 2015-16, they actually didn't play the three teams back-to-back-to-back. To back to back. Instead, for whatever reason, the Canucks made four different trips of two games each, either some combination of Ducks-Kings, Ducks Sharks or Kings Sharks. So they didn't play the three teams back to back to back. Instead, they made four trips to play two games each each time. So I didn't bother writing down all eight results. In 2014 15, they went in November and they went two and one. In 2013 14, they went in November, they went one and two. And in 2012 2013, they went in January and they went one, one and one. So over the past five seasons, not including that weird year two seasons ago, the Canucks had actually gone six, five, and one, basically 500. So they played well enough. They haven't, especially considering those games are all on the road. 500 on the road is, is, is just fine. So they've n never won all three games, but they've never lost all three games either. And I put on Twitter a poll earlier today. I'm just looking it up right now. And I said, how many points do you expect the Canucks to get out of the next three games through California? 5% of you said only zero or one point. 49%, the majority, the biggest vote, I should say, was two to three points. Another 40% said four to five points. And only 6% said they're going to sweep all three games and they're going to get all six points. So between 49 and 40, 89% of you said that they'll get somewhere between two and five points, which makes sense. That's one or two wins, basically close to 500 hockey. Last thing, let's take a walk down memory lane. As I was looking this up, I was, I was reminded of that crazy trip that the Canucks made in the year of 2013-2014. That was John Tortorella's first season. And as you remember, the Canucks were kind of doing well, hovering around the playoff bar for the first three months. And then they made this crazy trip to January. And on January 13th, they played in LA. They lost one nothing in a game that had 69 penalty minutes. That's a lot of penalties. Then the very next uh, two days later, they played in Anaheim. And that's the game they lost 9-1. to 
nine to one, and that game had 73 penalty minutes. Everyone was fighting everyone, uh, multiple fights at the same time. Mul players were in multiple fights throughout the game. That was 73 penalty minutes. So you had a game against LA, 69 penalty minutes, a game against Anaheim, 73 penalty minutes. Then they, the very next night, they had a one nothing loss in Phoenix. And then they came back and played Calgary on a Saturday night. And that was the infamous John Tortorella going down the tunnel and trying to fight the whole Calgary Flames roster and trying to get to Bob Hartley, their head coach at the time. And that game had 103 penalty minutes. As we know, Tortorella got suspended. Mike Sullivan took over. The Canucks went on a tailspin, lost about eight or nine in a row, and never to recover and finish at the bottom of the, of the league that year, near the bottom of the league. So we don't remember the 69 penalty minutes against the Kings. We don't remember the 73 penalty minutes against the Ducks because later that week, the Canucks had that crazy game against Calgary that included 103 penalty minutes and John Tortorella going absolutely bonkers. Do I expect the same fireworks tonight? Of course not. The Canucks are not built like that. They have a much more calm coach behind the net, excuse me, behind the bench. And the Canucks are doing well. It wouldn't make sense to, for them to, to go crazy like that. And, uh, and I simply don't, don't see the game going that way. The Canucks play a different type of style, different style right now, and they're trying to continue their, their strong play of late. So Canucks fans, oh yeah, one last thing before I sign off. Got good news from the Vancouver Canucks. Those of you that have been wondering about a, a parody song or a new Canucks song, you won't have to make, wait much longer. I can't say too much now other than we're, we're working on some details, throwing some ideas around, but I will say that if it goes well, this will be a nice gift to you Canucks fans. That's the only hint I'll give right now. You probably figured it out already. I'm not very subtle. But yeah, that's something I'm very excited to be working on. Okay, thanks for sitting through this video. I gotta get home so I can watch this game. Leave your comments below. How do you think the Canucks are gonna do on this road trip? Do you look forward to these three games swings through California? Do you remember that crazy, those crazy games against LA and, and, and Anaheim way back in 20, January 2014? And of course, I'm sure you remember the, the Calgary fiasco just that a couple days later. So leave a comment below. I'd love to read it. I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I hope you enjoy the game tonight. I'll check in with you tomorrow. And if you notice better audio, it's because I'm trying a mic out for the first time. We'll see how that goes as well. God bless and go Canucks.